So today's going to be about my recent album release, Step Inside, and I'm excited to announce that this album is my first ever physical release. I've always dreamed of releasing my music officially as a physical release, especially on vinyl record, though that is still a dream for the moment, because I just wouldn't know where to begin, and I would seriously need to work up to that. However, I have been thinking about releasing on cassette for a few years now, even CDs, but finally I did it. I've released on cassette. A bit of background on the album and how I write things for those of you who are new to my channel or have just stumbled upon this video. I've been creating music on the Commodore Amiga since the 90s on the Tracker program. I still do to this day, but in addition to that, the recent few years I've bought a Polyon Tracker and have been getting into synthesizers in a big way. Especially vintage synthesizers from the 80s. I even had some back in the day, but just I still have some from back in the day But I just didn't pay too much attention to them because Amiga was my sole focus I did love synthesizers back then, but I only used them to sample from. I had access to a few as a family friend was into media and film creation. He even left behind some of his synthesizers and equipment, then just disappeared. So back then, I was obsessed with sampling everything. If I could go back and just give my younger self a nudge on the shoulder to explore media a bit more, <laughs> I guess I was just having too much fun with Soundtrack Pro 2. I'm so glad that I still have the rack equipment and synths to this day, and I can't find or get in contact with a guy to return them all, so I'll just make use of everything now. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna want any of this back. It's been like 28 years. There is also an extra track on the tape version of the album. I created a synth version of my track Zaman on Polyan Tracker. It features the DX7, the Roland Jupiter and the C64 SID. Zaman is the intro track to my Amiga Topic videos and was originally created on the Amiga. So far alongside this album I've created two music videos. I really enjoyed creating them and they were from the footage from Egypt and of course there will be more to come.
So I don't have a single, one single way to create music other than on a tracker program. That's the only common thing. And for those of you who have been suggesting, yes, I do have my eyes on a Model 2 M8 or Mate tracker by Dirty Wave. This thing looks intriguing and I must say absolutely gorgeous. It's just a pity it's difficult for me, as I'm not US based, to get hold of this. I've got some saving up to do though. If I do end up getting the model to make tracker, I will not stop creating on the Polyon tracker and definitely not on the Amiga. creating music using different techniques as long as I'm using a tracker which is what I've always been used to. I've tried using sequencers, they're good but they're just not my thing. I love using different combination of synthesizers to explore different sounds and feelings. I'm a glutton for punishment because all this just makes music creation a little complex and unpredictable and of course unconventional. What I'm basically trying to say is the workflow is inconsistent. In other words, uh, the workflow for each track is very different to the next. However, for me personally, this seems to open up my creativity in different ways and just keep music creation quite fresh for me, I suppose. I also take pride in the fact that each track on an album I release can be created using different trackers, Amiga Mod, Sid, different synthesizers, and uh, you know, with the Polyon tracker. It sort of makes things up a bit, and I like that. Now about the album Step Inside. Like my past album, Paradox, some tracks are created on Amiga, others on Polyon's Tracker using different synthesizers. A couple of tracks use the Commodore 64's Sid. During the making of this album, I traveled to Egypt for a month and I couldn't take my Amiga there, unfortunately. So I took a laptop with FSUAE emulator. I'll be honest, with regards to emulation, the result really isn't any different using an actual Amiga. The fact that it's emulated doesn't impair your experience like it would if playing a game or a demo. Well, if it was a bad emulation or the machine wasn't up to it, of course. Since you're not really being entertained, you're creating. Well, as long as the emulation isn't so bad that it's unusable. What I'm saying basically is that the end result is the same as it would be had I created mods on an actual Amiga. It's just on the actual Amiga, it's more convenient, I have everything I need, there's a MIDI interface so I can use a MIDI keyboard. FSUA has no MIDI support unfortunately, so I had to use the typing keyboard as a musical keyboard. It sort of took me back to the, you know, when I first created music on my Amiga in the 90s, I used the typing keyboard. The process feels more authentic on an actual Amiga, that's the key here, as it's important for creativity. But then again, I was in Egypt, so plenty of inspiration. And the point was, I wanted to see what I came up with while I was over there. Other than that, technically speaking, there's no difference with regards to the outcome. 
Also, trackpads are annoying, and especially on emulation. I didn't take a mouse, so I had to go to Dahrir in Cairo to find one. And then came across this place, a mall consisting of nothing but computer stores and computer parts. It was very surreal, to say the least. And uh, it just... This place sort of feels like a little lost in time. <laughs> I don't know, it's got a strange vibe to it. Kind of reminds me of, you know, a mall in a college campus back in the 90s or something like this. It's just got, you know, a different atmosphere to it. So yeah, something has just arrived and I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. And yes, I'm excited about it. Got more knife. Harry boys. <laughs> Alice? Alice? Huh? Something for you here. Alice? Oh, thank you. Oh, la la. Yeah, sure. You cut my ring. Thank you. You're welcome, love. So, second unboxing here. Got a couple more things than the mailers. Oh, Neelix, here he comes. He's checking. <laughs> what all this is. <laughs> oh my god, here it is. Oh, here they are. 30 copies of my album. All cellophane wrapped. It actually looks really good. Thank you, Band Cities. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> it feels surreal, actually. More than you think it really does, it feels surreal. My first physical release. And I'm really happy with how it all looks. Now then, let's try. <laughs> the album artwork are photographs I took in Sharm el Sheikh, a beautiful tropical resort there. While there, I met a little friend.
I've not only released this album on Bandcamp, but also on Spotify, iTunes or Apple Music, Amazon Music and other places. I will put all the details into a future blog and post the link below, or you can find it via my website very soon. The physical release will be a limited run. I ordered 30 tapes and I've already sold a couple and reserved a few for others who have asked in advance. And I've only just put them on Bandgap alongside this video. Rich bought the first ever tape. His dad Robin bought the second one. Even Neelix insisted on having his own tape. Those of you who do purchase the tape, please take photos and tag me in social media once you do. So, thanks so much for your likes, your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. Also, I do more than create videos, so for more content, don't forget to check out my website as it contains all what I do. I update my blog fairly regularly, by the way. I am very happy with how I've designed my website and wish to thank Rich Garbutt for all the hard work and effort he's put into making it all work. Also, a big thank you goes to my top tier patrons. Rich Garbutt, Axel Dominator, Electronskip UK, Aaron Metcalf, Corey Ostman, Mark Bosak, Starlight Minako, Chris Sablansky, and Veronica Explains. No matter what, the Patreon tier, each of you who choose to support me genuinely out of the goodness of your heart deserves appreciation. Hence, the least I can do to show my thanks is list your names in my video, regardless of tier. Thank you again to all of you who genuinely support me. I'm really touched by it. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Until next time, adios.